So the next string function I want to show you is called resize. Um, and that lets you make the string either larger or smaller than it currently is. And there's some different variations of it. So if I take this string right here um, and say resize to, let's say, 4, um, we would expect it to cut this guy down. Let's see what happens when I print out what the string is, just so we can see on the screen what it is. Okay. So I get just the word sum. So if you use resize and specify as parameter a value that is smaller than the current length of the string, you're going to get the leftover text truncated or cut off. So everything from this space forward basically gets chopped off and um, is no longer inside of my string. Um, let's see what happens if I try to make it larger. So let's say this guy is nine characters long. Let's make it 15. Um, and actually, so that you can see what's happened, I'm going to put a little printing of something else directly next to it. Um, otherwise, you won't be able to see what happens. So let's run this. So I've got some text. Um, now you see it has appended some spaces, and then I have my star printing. So if you resize and you give it a parameter, a value that's larger than its current length, it will pad on the right-hand side until it reaches 15. So that's equivalent to going, uh, so this is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and making the string that long. Okay, So that's the second variation. Um, there's another variation. Let me get rid of this business. Um, where you can tell it what character to pad with. So it doesn't have to be a space. You can change that. So there's an overloaded version of this resize function that takes a second parameter. So if I put um, comma here, I can now specify what character to use to pad. So let's say I want to pad with exclamation points. Excuse me. Um, so I'm going to add in an exclamation point marked as a char with single quotation marks. Um, and then when I print it out, it should now be enough quotation marks to make this 15 total characters across. Okay. If I use this variation and choose a smaller value here, then you'll see that it, it behaves at the same way as the one without a second parameter, because um, there's no need for padding in this case. It's actually truncating, so the padding character doesn't get used. So resize lets you um, format your string into a specific designated size. Um, where you can either specify the type of padding or you can just let it use spaces, um, which it naturally wants to do.